Good morning everyone, it's Jelani, the morning scripture came from Matthew chapter 10 verse 28. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, giving thanks for another day of life, another day that you have preserved for us. Another day that you have woken us up to seek you, to give you the thanks that you are deserving of. And another morning, dear Lord, let us get up and let us pray for one another, dear Lord. Everyone is going through something that needs praying. Yeah, everybody must need some sort of prayer, dear Lord. And I just pray that this morning, the requests of those who are praying unto you dear lord according to your will i pray this morning that our prayers are brought up to your throne and they are answered speedily but according to your timing nonetheless so that we may have that peace of god whilst we exist in this life dear lord and as we have been speaking over the last few mornings, we are acknowledging that this peace is the only peace that can come from you and not of this world, nor of ourselves, nor anyone can give us this peace. So this morning, I just want to pray that these prayers are answered speedily and that we abide in your peace as you have taught us and promised us, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, your word this morning, I just pray that you give us all a nugget this morning, dear Lord, to help us to navigate this life because we know that as we're going to be speaking about fear, this is one tool that the enemy tries to use against us to control us. But as you have taught us, we ought to be fearing you and the fear of the Lord is something good. The fear of the Lord is to depart from evil. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and understanding of who you are. So open up our understanding to these words this morning. Keep my tongue. Um, it's been done in truth, dear Lord. Let nothing be spoken of myself, but let everything be of you and for you and for the glory of your church and the edification of your church. And as always, dear Lord, the times of tests and trials that we are facing or yet to face or have faced, I just pray as always that we have and are and will overcome all things through you, Lord Jesus Christ. And that our children, as we pray each and every morning, that they are grown up. And this is a true word, dear Lord, that they are grown up in the knowledge of who you are having the example of christ even being shown in us as adults as parents as guardians as the community around them so that when they're of age they shall only know to choose you so lead us in spirit and in truth as we ask in the name of jesus christ our lord to the glory of god our heavenly father we pray amen cool all right so matthew 10 verse 28 says and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Cool. All right. So a question this morning. Um, just want to ask the question if anyone is dealing with um, fear. Like, right? are you fearful of something? Are you afraid of things to come? Um, are you afraid of any individuals that are maybe threatening you? Maybe not even threatening you. Just in any way, shape, or form. And not even people, just things. Are you afraid or fearful of situations or um, things that may occur or may not occur? Are you fearful in any way, shape, or form? And um, this verse here um, was dealing with individuals mostly because it said don't fear him that can harm the body, right? But we're going to speak in fear in general, right? And 
if we look at it the tool that the world uses the tool that the enemy uses the most to try to control people is the method of inciting fear in individuals and this is a very effective tool right if you if you fear was never used was never created to be used to um for man to control man right fear came into play when man disobeyed god right before there was no fear there was no fear there's no account in the scripture of fear existing before um the fall of man right there was only love and um if you think about it it's logical because adam was created perfect he was created very good right the scripture said when god created all things on the sixth day he looked and everything was very good right so if everything was very good there was no fear like everything what were you going to be afraid of like nothing right and plus god almighty his heavenly father was there with him um in perfect love so there was perfect um love in the beginning but as i said sin got introduced and their fear came into play because now um the the, the knowledge of good and evil was introduced and we know that evil is the is is there is judgment for the the, the works of evil right and adam obviously disobeying god had done evil therefore fear it came into play right he knew that he had done something wrong and he was trying to hide from god right but as i said god didn't create us to fear he, he created us to love in the in the initial inset we through sin um erred from that um, path of righteousness nevertheless men learned over the years because obviously man just became more and more evil learning how to do more and more evil they learned over the years that f fear can be a method of control right and mankind used it for their benefit right to set up themselves as as um to set up themselves over people right and um if you think about it fear if you if you fall into fear you're going to always be in the control of that person or individuals or situation it's going to have a, 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 a it's going to become your master because you now are submitting to the ordinances or the fear or the um i didn't want to use my fear for the definition but you yeah pretty much sub um sub um submitting to that that that's that whatever that that is that is affecting you and causing you to fear right but if we think about it and if we as we said if we look to god first and foremost and fear god right first of all as i just prayed the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the fear of the lord is to turn away from evil right the fear of the lord is that which will, will set you free from the fear and bondage of this world right because as the scriptures say <laughs> dude it was literally just like jesus saying don't fear man that can just hurt this mortal flesh right man can't do anything more than that right yes they can try to mess with your mind mess with your heart all of that stuff but unless you don't if you don't allow it then they cannot like they can't enter into your heart they can't enter into your mind unless you allow right but yeah they can obviously harm the flesh but guess what we serve a god that actually created flesh from the dust of the ground right so if anybody else is able to give us something new which he is more than capable of um it is our heavenly father right we ought to be fearing god almighty because he is in control of everything both flesh and spirit right man can't harm your spirit as long as our spirit belongs to god even if mankind worst case scenario kills us on this world in this world we know that we have a world to come through christ jesus we have a kingdom to come we have an eternal life to come we have an eternal body to come so what what they do is futile to the flesh right but if you actually truly put your fear in fear in the lord right you know that his judgment is final and he's able to cast both soul and body in hell not only that 
um, he can, he, there's no one that can deliver you out of his hand. Right, so um, I didn't expect, I wanted to go a bit, uh, um, I'm going to leave it at that this morning. But as I said, have, those were a few little points to take away and to think on. I'll leave it to the comment section and they can send in anything else to the word at each each one.org right and as much as the lord has led me talking and kept me over the years i said there's quite a, a few more things that could have been said all right but just those things the inside just remember don't fear man man can't do nothing but harm your flesh but god almighty can preserve your flesh and you can destroy it both soul and body right so i'll leave it at that have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.